Tonight, the WHAS 11 vault uncovers history made right here, where Monica Kaufman Pearson was the first black woman to anchor a newscast in the city of Louisville. Here's her story. And to use the old slang term, that ain't no small potatoes. Monica Kaufman joined WHAS 11 in 1973. Her appearance on local news was historic, the first black female anchor in the city of Louisville. Monica was born and raised in Smoketown and is a graduate of Presentation Academy. She was in town in 2000 for an interview with Doug Prophet. Monica Kaufman remembers her days at WHAS like it was yesterday. When I look back at my tapes, Doug, I thought I was pretty lousy. <laughs> Believe it or not, she was discovered when she was a bank teller. This company invested in me and saw something in me that uh, nobody else saw. I could have still been at Liberty National Bank and maybe by now I'd be a bank manager. After breaking barriers in Louisville, Monica left for Atlanta, Georgia in 1975, where she became a legend in local news. She would move on to become the first woman to anchor the daily evening news in Atlanta, a major television market. She's since been married and now goes by the name Monica Kaufman Pearson. Her career in Georgia lasted 37 years. She retired in 2012, but Monica's connection to Louisville has never gone away. Even though I'm in Atlanta and have been here for 45 years, Louisville is my home. She regularly comes back as a special guest at Presentation Academy's annual Tower Awards for Women Leaders. We had the privilege of interviewing her in 2020 about her historic career. I look back at my career and say, if it had not been for people working together and having faith in each other, I would not have succeeded. Someone had to open the door. I walked in, but then I had to be the best I could be to keep that door open for other women. She fondly remembered her time at WHAS 11 and how it paved her path for success. I went to work for WHAS and oh, Phyllis Knight, I remember her so well. Van Vance, um, they're just, uh, Kaywood Ledford, all of those people who made great television. And I really, I don't think I could have been a success in Atlanta if I hadn't had the teachers that I had in Louisville at WHAS. And she is well aware of the barriers she's broken. I realized that in 1975, and actually in 1973, when I started working for WHAS, they had not had an African-American woman anchoring the news. There had been a young man, young African-American man, Ernie Jarman, who did the weekend news, but a woman had not anchored the news, a black woman. So they put me on on weekends. That was a big step for them. But Monica doesn't want her accomplishments to end with her. She wants to help others make a history of their own. And that's why I spend a great deal of time mentoring young women in this business, because I want them to know things have changed, but in many ways in smaller markets, things have not changed. There are still markets where you don't see women like me anchoring the news. You told me that that was... So what's next for Monica? Believe it or not, she's actually coming out of retirement to host two new shows in Atlanta that premiere at the end of this month.